What's up all you sexy people? It's me, John Aguilera, and welcome back to another video. And I got a really sweet deal from a co-worker on some retro goodies. She was doing some spring cleaning and she kind of wanted to get rid of her stuff. We actually been talking about me buying her like her Super Nintendo stuff for like a few months already actually. But she actually came around and, and sold me all this sweet stuff. And I'm going to share with you guys what I got. And first up, I'm going to show you guys this uh, Super Nintendo Super Scope in box. It, it's not in the greatest shape, it's a little torn right here, but I still want to get a protector for this box because, yeah, I want to preserve it as much as I can. I'm going to open it up. I wish I had a table in front of me so I can show you guys better um, all my stuff, I guess, display it better. So here's the gun. I actually uh, went through everything and cleaned everything out, so it was it was a lot dirtier. But it's in really good shape. It's actually missing the battery pack for this thing, or the little cover for the batteries. I didn't think it had batteries, but it does. You gotta remember, this is from like 1990 something. So yeah, it's missing that part, but it's in really good condition. We've got the manuals right here. And the sensor, it's a little yellowed out, so I think I can clean that up a bit. And of course, it comes with the game, so pretty sweet. I remember a long time ago, I passed up on a Super Scope. I was actually in Mexico when I saw one, you know, I was on vacation, and I saw it go for $20, and I can't believe I passed it up. But now, now I have it here in my hands, in my room. I'm not sure where I'm going to display it. I don't have that much room anymore. I do got to set up another bookshelf because I am running out of space to put my games. But finally got this bad boy. So that's pretty cool. Pretty excited about that. Next up, I'm going to show you guys. It was a little heavy. The Super Nintendo. Whoa. All right, Super Nintendo right here. Pretty cool. It's just a little ripped right here. Might have been from some uh, gift wrapping paper back in the day, a Christmas a long time ago. And here's the back. Woohoo! It is torn right here on the side, just a little bit. Oh, there's a little manual hanging out. So that's pretty sweet. I do want to get a protector for this as well. And overall, I think it's in pretty good condition. Just mine is this little flap, but that's that's okay with me. So when I opened the box the first time, you know, when I was gonna clean everything out, when I clean everything out, uh, there was a lot of manuals in here for games. So I got like the Super Mario World uh, instruction manual. I believe this is Bart versus the Mut Space Mutants manual. Uh, see, you can see Bart Simpson right there. Silkworm. I do not have this game. I'm going to be looking for it because it looks like a really sweet game. Super Mario Bros. 3. I do not have this game. I was actually at a garage sale recently and this lady was selling a NES for $40. I was almost going to pick it up. I, I should have just picked it up. It came with Mario Bros. 3, Top Gun, and some other game. But uh, I just wanted the Super Mario Bros. 3, but she wasn't budging and so overall I did not get the game or nothing. But I do have the manual, so that is pretty cool. Yoshi. Awesome. What else? NCAA football. I got uh, Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday Manual. And Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. I was really happy to see this in the box, too. So cool. And then, of course, you got your Super Nintendo manual right here. And poster with a bunch of... Uh, games that now you're playing with super power pretty sweet oh takes me back takes me back so that is really sweet i love it the super nintendo itself is pretty yellowed um i know there are videos online on how to clean that stuff up so i'm actually looking forward to doing that myself a little project side project for a weekend when i got nothing else to do it is a little beat up, a little cracked, uh, just a little bit beat up. See, there's like a little crack right here, um, up here. I do want to open it up. Oh, I got to open it up if I'm going to clean it up, but there's, ooh, 
<laughs> the little little piece just fell off. A little shard. But it rattles, so I definitely want to get rid of the little pieces in there. It does work. I did test it out. And it, of course it comes with the Super Mario World and then two controllers. So that is my second copy of Super Mario World. So overall I am very excited to just have my own box Super Nintendo because it is just just as a collector it is pretty awesome just to have it. The Midwest Gaming Classic was very recent and I've been spending a lot of money like crazy lately. But that's okay because now I got it and I'll just make more money, right? Right. That's how life works. And next up, I got the old Nintendo, the original Nintendo right here in box. Pretty cool. I did clean up the box a little bit. There was like tape going all around this this bad boy. I shortened it up. This is in beautiful condition. Love it. So, with this one, whoops. With this one, it comes with the gun, of course. It doesn't have the styrofoam for it. So, I cleaned up the console real good too. It was really dirty. But I think it came out very nice after I cleaned it up. Yep. I put on some like filler stuff in there so it didn't move so much. So like this solar display box. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh yeah, I got video games monthly boxes in there just so it, it, it uh, holds it in real good. I have a lot of those boxes laying around. I used to have a lot more, but I, I recycled them. So yeah, just keeping it in place. And it came with the cords as well, which I have when I have them in the video games monthly box. So if you guys got any recommendations of where to get box protectors from, like where do you guys, what do you guys recommend where I should get them? Please let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate it. Next up, also in this bundle, I got a 64. Very nice, very beautiful, and it comes with the expansion, the memory expansion thingy, or whatever it's called. Also got a controller, and another random PS1 controller. Not, this is the only PlayStation thing that I came with it. With this awesome bundle, of course, there were games with it as well. I'm going to show off the NES stuff first. I got uh, 1943 with the manual. I've been wanting this game for a while now, so I finally got it. It's pretty awesome. Wheel of Fortune. I don't think I had this one either. Yoshi. Yoshi's Cookies. Classic. It's my second one now. Top Gun. Second copy, I believe. Uh, Ninja Turtles. This is my third copy now. Kings of the Beach. Volleyball. Yep, yep, volleyball. Super Mario Brothers 2, my second copy. Uh, Super Mario Bros. Then Dunk, Duck Hunt, um, probably my second copy. I don't think I have that many. Dr. Mario, second copy. And then Excite Bike. This is like my fourth copy I have. I gotta get rid of my duplicates or give them away or something. All right, next up, Super Nintendo. As you saw earlier in that Super Nintendo box, I had got the manual for NCAA football. Beavis and Butthead. I know I have this for the Sega Genesis. I don't think I had it for the Super Nintendo. I wonder if it's different. So, gotta love Beavis and Butthead. I finally have a copy of Super Mario Kart. Beautiful condition. Porky Pig's uh, Haunted Holiday. My second copy of Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest. This is an awesome game. There's still a, there's a level in it that I have not completed, and it just really pisses me off so much. Ah, it's like later on in the late uh, late part of the game. Oh, I can't get past it. It's so hard. But I love that game. Judge Dread. Um, I think this is my second copy now. You and Squadron did not have this. I know I was on, I was on the lookout for this. So I finally got it now in my collection. Pretty cool, pretty cool. 
And finally, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. This is my second copy now. Always great to have duplicates of amazing games. So that is pretty cool. I'm really thankful that my coworker uh, sold me all this stuff. Uh, she just had it laying around and in storage and I told her I would take care of it. I'd be happy to take it in. I, I gave her an offer and she, she agreed to it. And here I am with all this cool stuff and my room is getting even more crowded. So I am pretty thankful for all that stuff. So in other words, the moral to this story is be nice to your coworkers and maybe they'll sell you some of their stuff because you never know what they got laying around. The most excited thing I'm really happy to pick up in this bundle is probably Super Nintendo in the box and the old Nintendo on the Super Scope. It's so cool. <laughs> I can't wait to try it out on my TV uh, when I get time during the weekend. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with my duplicates. Uh, maybe some trade bait, I don't know yet. I'll just say it was over $300, just a little bit over $300 but not by much. I think it was a good pickup. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. And once again, a uh, reminder, if you know of any box protector websites or anything like that, that you guys recommend, please let me know. Give my video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thanks for watching guys. Till next time.